Welcome back to the Exago video training series. This segment will focus on dashboards, an interactive way to display reports, visualizations, and more, all in one place. We'll begin by clicking the Create New Report icon in the top left corner and then clicking on Dashboard to open the Dashboard Designer. The Dashboard Designer is comprised of three main sections, the Toolbar, the Canvas, and the Tile Properties pane. Each element on a dashboard is contained within a rectangular tile that can be dragged and placed onto the canvas. Tiles are arranged onto a grid and snap into place next to each other. The top of the dashboard designer contains the toolbar with tools for creating and interacting with the canvas and the tiles. General formatting settings, such as canvas resizing options or default tile background and border colors, are available in the canvas format menu on the toolbar. On the right side of the screen is the Tile Properties pane, where the look and behavior of individual tiles can be changed as we build our dashboard. We'll begin building our dashboard by going to the toolbar and dragging the new tile icon onto the canvas. This creates a new tile placeholder that can resize and move around the canvas. This new tile can populate with a graphical visualization, a web page, an image, a static text box, an interactive filter, or a pre-existing report. For this dashboard, we'd like to display various employees' revenue totals as well as a count of their respective orders. We'd also like to be able to filter which specific employee's information is displayed and what year the orders were placed. I have an existing report that shows revenue per employee in a chart. So I'll click Existing Report on the new tile placeholder and then drag the desired report from the report tree on the left side of the screen. We are now displaying employee revenue totals. We'd also like to see an order count for each employee. As I don't already have a report with this information on it, I can now add a new visualization tile and build the chart right here in the Dashboard Designer. To do this, we can add another new tile to the canvas. This time, by clicking on the new tile icon in the toolbar and then dragging the visualization tile type to the canvas. We'll see we're prompted to add groups and values to the tile. All visualization tiles start off as column charts, but we can easily change to a different type by clicking on the corresponding chart type icon in the tile properties pane. We can now start adding data to the visualization. Using the Data Fields pane on the left side of the screen, we can click through to find the fields we want or use the search field at the top. We'll first add the employee name field as a group. Next, we'll add order ID as the values in the chart. If we'd like to use a different type of aggregation, we can set that on a field-by-field -field basis here. We can modify how the visualization appears using the Style tab of the Tile Properties pane. Now that our Employee Revenue Report and our Order Count Visualization are completed, we still need to add interactive filters so we can modify which employee's information and order date are displayed. Let's dock the Employee Name filter in the Filter pane, and we'll create a slider on the canvas to adjust the order date. First, We'll click on the Filters menu in the toolbar and then click the Add Filter button. Next, I'll select the field to filter on, in this case, Employee's Last Name. I'll set my operator to be Is One Of so we can select multiple employees. Next, we can specify which tiles we'd like the filter to affect. For this dashboard, we'll select both the Employee Revenue chart and our visualization of Employee Order Count. Notice that when the mouse is hovered over the tile name, the tile is highlighted in blue. We can also set default values for the filter here. We will repeat this process for the Order Date filter. This time, select Order Date as the filter field, Is Between as the operator, and apply it to both tiles by checking their checkboxes. In our example, the Order Date field contains the month, day, and year of each order, but we're only interested in filtering by year. We can use a formula 
to select the year information. To do this, we'll click on the Formula Editor icon to open the Formula Editor. Here, we can enter a formula directly or use the built-in functions to build one. We can use the year function to select only the year portion of each order date. In the formula editor, we can navigate to the date category, or we can search for it with the search field at the top of the dialog. Double-clicking the function in the list adds it to the formula. The formula editor automatically applies the function to our data field. This time, I'll drag the filter item to the canvas, and we'll see a new tile appears with a slider in it. Again, we can use the Tile Properties pane to set the styling and behavior for the tile. At this point, we can save our dashboard by clicking the Save icon, giving it a name, a folder, and an optional description. Once the dashboard is saved, we can click Run, and the dashboard will execute and launch us into the Dashboard Viewer. We can now see both our existing employee revenue chart and the employee order count visualization. The Dashboard Viewer is an interactive space that allows us to view and work with the dashboard we just built. On the left side of the screen are the floating icons, Refresh, and Filters. If reports on our dashboard also included parameters, an additional Parameters icon would appear here. Clicking the Refresh icon will reload the data for all the reports and visualizations on the canvas. If we click on the Floating Filters icon, the Filter pane will open and show our Docked Employee Name Filter. We can modify which employees we're showing information for, and our tiles will automatically update to reflect those newly selected values. The Parameters pane would work in a similar way. We can slide the Year filter on the canvas as well. Hovering the mouse over either the Docked or Canvas filter will highlight the tiles the filter affects. In our case, both filters affect both tiles. From each tile's individual tile menu, we can manually refresh either of our charts or export them to any of Exago's available export types. We even have the ability to drill down into the detail of any visualization simply by clicking on specific series. We've just begun to scratch the surface of what we can accomplish with Exago's dashboard tools. For more information about building dashboards, check out the Dashboard Design Cheat Sheet and the Dashboard Design Handbook for SaaS Companies, available online at exagoinc.com slash learn slash library. The Dashboard Designer is a very powerful application, and you'll soon be creating meaningful and attractive dashboards just like these in no time. This concludes our segment on dashboards. Be sure to check out the other segments in the video training series if you haven't already, and as always, happy reporting!